Olympia Snow has decided that she will not uh, run for re-election. And, you know, the media has kind of spun this as, oh, Olympia Snow, she's so depressed with the lack of civility within Congress and she just doesn't want to deal with it anymore. Oh, she's such a great person, right? But it turns out that maybe she doesn't want to be re-elected because her husband is about to be in the midst of a huge controversy involving for-profit colleges. How excited are you? I am so excited. Okay, so <laughs> Lucas Lilyholm, aka the Lorax, found this story. Uh, it was reported by Truthout, and it's a great story that talks about how uh, the governor of Maine, John uh, McKernan, uh, actually was the CEO of the Education Management Corp. Right, and that is one of the largest for-profit college companies in the country. Now, while he was the CEO, uh, it turns out that. Education Management Corp paid their recruiters a commission based on the number of students they could get inside their uh, colleges, right? That is illegal. Okay, so they are uh, being investigated for that. They're facing a huge federal lawsuit because of that. And Olympia Snow knows uh, maybe this is a bit of an issue. We have a lot of invest investment into these for-profit colleges. Maybe I should get out now before it turns into a major controversy that I'm in the middle of. You know, that's interesting. I think that's a possibility. I think another possibility is that she's retiring for the same reason that a lot of senators are retiring, which is I got to go cash in. Mm -hmm. You know, look at all this wonderful money my husband made by being doing uh, alleged activities that are kind of fishy, right? And what do all these former senators do? They go cash million dollar checks as lobbyists, which is another way of, you know, doing the scams that her husband's doing. Mm -hmm. So, is it because she was so tired of the partisan politics? She is the partisan politics. Now, she's a tiny bit more moderate than the rest of the Republicans, but she votes with the Republicans an overwhelming majority of the time. But here's who she really votes with, corporate America, nearly 100% of the time. Like, I, there's a drove of these people leaving. In her case, maybe the scandal tipped the balance, mm -hmm. but overall, they're going to cash out. They're going to make serious. She's probably going to go work as a lobbyist for the for-profit colleges. I bet you with, she does. Along with her husband, former governor of Maine. That's what they do. Uh, that's exactly uh, what I was going to say. I bet that they're so brazen that they that she goes and works for that same industry. Yeah. So. And by the way, uh, for-profit colleges, when you really look at it, and especially when you're specifically looking at Education Management Corporation, they have been um, completely. I wouldn't say ignoring, but there's this law called the 90-10 law, right? Which means no more than 90% of your revenue can come from federal funds, right? So from federal student aid. Um, and you have to find at least 10%, just a measly little 10% of your revenue from other uh, sources of income, right? Um, but if you look at the numbers, in 2008, uh, they received about 70.2% of their uh, revenue from federal funds. In 2009, it was 81.3%. 2010, it was 88.5%. And 2011, 90.3%. So more and more of their revenue is coming from tax dollars, right? From you guys. Welfare queens. Okay, now one last thing about that. Think about this. When you talk about free education for kids and you say, hey, you know, for example, we should give more money to our public universities, the Republicans flip out. They're like, oh, government money to these universities. God knows where it's going. Oh, no, we're spending too much. When it comes to giving money to for-profit colleges, then all of a sudden they're like, yeah, yeah, give it all. 90% of their money comes from of the government, fantastic. Mitt Romney's right. in favor of it. All the Republicans are in favor of it. So what happened? I thought you didn't want people to live off the government teeth. I'll tell you exactly why. Now, of course, of course, you guys already know this is coming, right? It's because the for-profit colleges are funding these uh, candidates, these politicians. Uh, let's talk specifically about Mitt Romney. The Apollo Group, which owns the University of Phoenix, just last month gave him $75,000. Actually, they gave $75,000 to uh, the Restore Our Future PAC, so his super PAC. Also, uh, the CEO of Full Sail University gave him $85,000. Uh, Kevin Landry with TA Associates, which is the, uh, he has an ownership stake in Full Sail, gave Mitt Romney's PAC $120,000. Look, if 90% of your money is coming from the federal government, you must buy the federal government. If you don't buy those politicians, you're in a world of trouble. So you must buy both campaigns, and they do. They contribute a lot of money to the Obama campaign. They did. He was, they were among his top donors in 2008. And so when Obama went to work on fixing the for-profit system, they rained down on him. Both of his, his own donors at meetings at the White House over and over again, and then other Democrats that are bought by these same guys 
came in and had meetings, and in the end, they literally changed the industry by 5%. Literally. They said, oh, there'll be a 5% change in one of the rules. It was pathetic. Now, Republicans running, well, the Republicans are easy to buy anyway. You got to go. And if you just put in a couple hundred thousand dollars to these guys, and they return millions, perhaps billions to you, it's the easiest decision of all time. Of course you make that investment. You're absolutely right about that. And they do not just target Republicans. They also target Democrats. In fact, Ed Haddock, uh, he is the full sale university co-chairman, which is one of the uh, other huge for-profit colleges, uh, gave Obama and the DNC $60,000. Of course. So it's, it doesn't just uh, infect the Republican Party. It also infects the Democratic Party. And then you see these for-profit colleges taking advantage of vulnerable students, putting them in huge amounts of students loan debt with a degree that in most cases means nothing. And uh, uh, wins for everybody. Look, here's how you can tell if a Republican on this issue, out of many issues, is on the level or not. If you say to them, hey, you know what, public, uh, and forget public, and education is very important. So we think the federal government should fund uh, our state colleges to give kids an opportunity at all those different states to get a, a education. We should give 90% of their fund. Watch their heads explode. Mm -hmm. Inconceivable. There's no way, no way, no way. Oh, I can't believe you would suggest that. Then you turn around and say, these private colleges, let's give them 90% of their funding. They're like, absolutely. Win. Okay? So you know that they're 100% full of shit. Okay? Their whole body made up of doo doo. <laughs> okay? Doo -doo because there's no way to justify word. that. Uh, except for the fact that they get paid by the private colleges and they don't get paid by public universities and they don't give a damn about your education.